I think that we can all agree that most of us want to be rich. We want to buy fancy cars and luxurious houses and travel all around the world. We want more wealth than we know what to do with. But in reality, not everyone will get their wishes granted. So if you want to find out why your wish might not get granted, below are some of the reasons why you will probably never be rich. 10. You spend too much money. You won't get rich by living beyond your means. So many people are doing this and don't even know it. Using up your entire paycheck and then some isn't a prudent strategy for financial success. And neither is draining your savings or rounding up credit card balances. Just because you're earning more or your boss gives you a raise doesn't mean you need to get a lifestyle raise as well. Try to hold back your spending and track where all your money goes. Cut back in areas that are non-essential if you can. Thereafter, come up with a realistic budget that allows you to have enough to pay your bills and have enough to put into a savings account. If you're spending more than you make, it becomes close to impossible to save. So make a budget that is ideal for your income range and the financial situation that you're in. And also, don't overspend on items that you can't afford unless you put them on credit. Take and apply these wise words from Buffett into your life. Don't save what's left after spending. Spend what's left after saving. 9. You're not investing. Investing money is one of the most effective ways to earn more money. And the sooner you start, the better. So, if you choose to overlook it, you aren't getting rich anytime soon. Rich people invest on average 20% of their income annually. And their wealth isn't measured by how much they make a year, but how they've saved and invested it over time. You might feel safe stashing your savings under the mattress, but each day, inflation eats away at your purchasing power. And this simply means that last year's $1 is worth the same as today's $1 a.k.a. you're losing money. If you'd like to achieve and maintain some sort of financial independence, you're going to need the assistance of compounding interest through a form of investing. At the end of each month, you should set aside some money, even a little, to invest in things like stocks and bonds. The sooner you decide to invest, the more likely you are to benefit in the long run. Not investing in yourself might also be a detrimental obstacle on your path to riches. If you don't invest in furthering your education, training, and development, you are limiting your ability to make more money in the future. 8. You have too much debt. Building wealth can be tough, especially when a large portion of your money goes towards debt repayments. There are so many reasons why many people are in debt. They don't know how much they owe, they only pay the minimum, their mortgage may be huge, and they can't say no to the kids. Plus, they don't have an emergency fund. The interest rate on your credit card is likely higher than the average investment return in the stock market. If you can't pay off your credit card balance in full each month, then you shouldn't have a credit card at all. If you have an existing credit card debt, take action to get out of debt and save money. Do whatever you can to get rid of personal loans, student loans, car loans, and mortgages so that you can live debt-free and be able to keep and invest what you make. 7. You haven't planned for your retirement. It's so easy to focus on the present, the bills you have to pay, all the things you want to buy, and this somehow tricks you into thinking that you have all the time in the world to start saving for retirement. But the longer you wait, the harder it becomes to amass enough money to live off of. Only 37% of working adults feel like their retirement savings are on track, and one out of every five Americans aged between 45 and 59 are moving closer to the age of retirement without anything saved for it at all. But it's never too late to get started on saving for retirement. No matter how old you are or how much you've saved so far, there's always something you can do. To have enough money to retire, consider contributing to your employer-sponsored 401k plan, and if you're self-employed, think about having an independent retirement account. If you aren't maximizing your retirement benefits each year, then you're missing out on your financial future. Before we continue, I'd like to know, are you getting any value so far? If you are, kindly like this video 
And if you're new, welcome and go ahead and click subscribe. Done? Great. Let's move on. 6. You're content with a steady paycheck. According to a study, close to 8% of American workers are living from paycheck to paycheck. Becoming rich becomes impossible if this is the case for you. The only way to break out of this cycle would be to create a sensible budget, reduce your spending, and get out of debt. Most people choose to get paid on a time basis, a steady salary or hourly rate, while the rich choose to get paid based on results and are typically self-employed. And it's not that these folks aren't hardworking people, but for rich, this is a slow path to success, which also happens to be advertised as the safest, and is somehow true. But those who are self-employed know that it isn't the fastest route to wealth. 5. You don't negotiate your salary. Negotiating your salary can put you in quite an uncomfortable position, but not getting paid what you're worth keeps you further away from becoming wealthy. Negotiating your salary before accepting a job has consistently been found to increase the amount you earn at that job in the future. Some researchers found that men who negotiate their initial salaries were able to raise those salaries by an average of 7.4%. Also, women who consistently negotiate their salaries earn at least one million more over their lifetime on average than those who don't. Carry out some research to determine how much others in your area and position are earning before accepting a job or asking for a raise. The worst that can happen is that your employer says no. So negotiate and reap the benefits in the future. 4. You don't have an emergency fund. An emergency fund is basically money that has been set aside for the purpose of covering unexpected future events. The money allows you to live a few months if you lose your job or pay for something unexpected without falling into debt. If you have an emergency fund in place, you won't have to get into debt to pay for these unexpected expenses. It's really a lifesaver in cases of emergency, and everyone should have one. It's advised to save up for at least three to six months worth of expenses. Emergencies come when we least expect them. Your roof might need to be repaired, your car may break down, or you or your spouse could lose your jobs. The whole point of an emergency fund is to prevent you from adding to debt in times of need or panic to gather funds at the last minute. If you don't have money to fall back on in such instances, you'll never grow your wealth. You'll have to struggle to pay debt after debt because you weren't efficiently prepared. Starting an emergency savings fund won't make you rich, but it will help protect you in a time of unexpected need. Make sure it's in its own accounts so that it doesn't become mingled with cash for your daily expenses. 3. You have a negative mindset towards money. Whether we're aware of it or not, we have a deep-rooted relationship with money that dictates our ability to create and hold on to wealth. The average person believes that being rich is a privilege reserved for the lucky few. But the thing is, everyone has the right to be rich if they're willing to create massive value for others. If others can become rich, why can't you? If you believe that you'll never be rich, then you won't. The key to succeeding financially is believing in yourself and what you're able to do. Regardless of your financial situation, you can always amass wealth and enjoy a comfortable life. When we take away the emotions from money, we can begin to view it as what it really is, a tool. Maybe you know a few rich people you don't like, and that's left a bad impression on you. But either way, you deserve to be financially secure, and that starts by straightening your relationship with money. 2. You stress so much on saving and not enough on earning. Saving is an important aspect of creating wealth but you wouldn't want to focus so much on it that you begin to neglect earning, something that you need to set your sights on. Rich people focus on how to make more money rather than worry about running out of it. While the wealthy are busy focusing their energy on earning money and lots of it, the masses are more focused on clipping coupons and living frugally, so much so that they miss out on opportunities. And although some might say it isn't about the amount you make, but rather the amount you keep, it shouldn't be a reason to disregard earning entirely. And if you think about it, to keep money, you need to make it first. This doesn't mean that the rich don't save. They know how important saving is, but they also know earning it is more important. No one's saying you should abandon practical saving strategies, but if you want to start thinking like the rich, you need to stop worrying about running out of money and start focusing on how to make more of it. 1. You're pursuing someone else's dream. To be successful, you need to love what you do. Many of us make the mistake of chasing after someone else's dream. When you choose to chase someone else's goals, you eventually become unhappy, and your performance and compensation will reflect this. 
you simply lack the passion necessary for success to happen. Everyone has the same opportunity to acquire wealth. It's true that some might face greater roadblocks than others, but the opportunity is there for everyone to grab. You don't have to be born in a rich family or hit the jackpot to become wealthy and live comfortably. But you have to be disciplined and understand what it takes to get ahead financially and avoid the pitfalls that are holding you back. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and found value while watching it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more content like this. With that said, have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one.